Hello, this is Megan Horniman, the Chief Investment Officer for Verdant's Capital Advisors. We're coming to you today with our regular segment of Markets with Megan, and we're going to do something a little bit different today. Um, You know, it's the beginning of December, the holiday season is quickly approaching. So what we wanted to do was take the song, the 12 Days of Christmas, and turn it into 12 different wishes that we have for 2024. This isn't our market outlook by any means. In fact, most of these are highly unlikely, but what does it hurt to wish for in this holiday season? So on the first day of Christmas, we're hoping for 1 million more homes to come on the market. This would bring that really low inventory of homes that are out there that would bring that up to closer to the historical average. For the second day of Christmas, wouldn't it be nice to see that 2% inflation target that the Fed's looking for? Probably not going to happen in 2024, but it doesn't hurt to wish. Um, For the third day of Christmas, we would love to see that uh, deficit as a percent of GDP fall back down to about 3%, which is around the historical average. It would be basically about half of what it is right now, though. So again, wishful thinking, but wouldn't that be nice? Um, The fourth day of Christmas, it would be nice to see uh, the default rate, um, the speculative grade default rate for corporate bonds to rise to about 4% instead of the 5% that they're expecting um, next year. On the fifth day of Christmas, I mean, nobody can deny five golden rings at a record high that we saw last week at $2,072 an ounce. On the sixth day of Christmas, it would be great to see a 6% mortgage rate. And we've seen mortgage rates come down um, to some degree here lately, but 6% would help someone with a $350,000 mortgage save about $300 a month. On the seventh day of Christmas, it would be really nice to see the rally in 2024, an equity rally spread beyond those magnificent seven companies that we've seen drive this rally this year. And then on the eighth day of Christmas, we've gotten some moderation in gasoline prices in recent weeks, but it would be really nice to see gas prices drop about 80 cents um, a gallon, and that would bring us to that historical average we saw in the five years leading up to the pandemic. On the ninth day of Christmas, you know, office real estate is is in distress here. Um, We'd like to see maybe 900 million more square feet of office space occupied in the U.S. We have about a 20% of um, the U.S. office space is is vacant, and this is putting some stress on the economy. So we'd love to see about 900 more million square feet of office space to be leased. On the 10th day of Christmas, we would like to see a 10% rally in the MSCI All Country World Index that's outside of the U.S. Um, This would help a well-diversified portfolio do well in 2024. On the 11th day of Christmas, we're going to hope for 11% earnings growth for the S&P 500. It's what analysts expect right now. We think it's it's going to be very challenging to get there, but 11% earnings growth would be great for equity returns for next year. And then on the 12th day of Christmas, you know, we can't say that this is something that um, for sure can happen, but would be nice to see 12 months of no rate hikes by the Federal Reserve in 2024. So again, this was just having some fun with the you know traditional song, 12 Days of Christmas, some things we have for a wish list. And we understand some of these are, are not likely in 2024. But again, it's in the spirit of the season. It doesn't hurt to take a wish on some of these things. That's all we have. And we will um, be back next week. Um, we'll be in an offsite this week. So um, we'll be back with more economic and podcasts next week. Thank you so much. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to, feel free to reach out to podcasts at verdens.com. Thank you. 